Welcome to St. Stephen's. We gather here to help one another grow in love for neighbor, self, creation, and God. We are here in love and we're glad you're here. Whenever you are joining us, we hope that this pre-recorded service of devotions finds you well. We have in-person worship here in Terre Haute on Sundays at 8 and 10 a.m. and Thursdays at noon. We also do a live stream of that 10 o'clock service on Facebook. Let's begin with Psalm 37. Do not fret yourself because of evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong, for they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in God and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on its riches. Take delight in God, who shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to God and put your trust in God, who will bring it to pass. God will make your righteousness as clear as the light and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still and wait patiently before God. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger. Leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself. It leads only to evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon God shall possess the land. In a little while the wicked shall be no more. You shall search out their place, but they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. But the deliverance of the righteous comes from God, who is their stronghold in time of trouble. God will help them and rescue them and will rescue them from the wicked and deliver them because they seek refuge. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. One of the images I've taken to in recent years is to see church as a school of love, right? We're here learning to love together. Like the disciples, we're active learners. We learn and do, learning by doing. And one of the downsides to this image is that we sometimes make the mistake of thinking education is about learning the right way to do things. 
rather than learning the things themselves. This often comes out in the form of shoulds, as in all the things we should do if we're really Christians. And what is a should but an unrealized and under-supported expectation? For some of us, this is a scrutiny we level at ourselves and our own behavior. We name the list of things we should have done or done differently. And sometimes we level that scrutiny at others, right? To name all the shoulds for them. Neither approach strikes me as the least bit healthy, but I've come to expect them anyway. The way Jesus talks about love in this sermon is utterly antithetical to our standard way of doing things. Right? We love to operate under the assumption of reciprocity, economics, give and take. We are taught love capitalism and tell each other that love is expressed in handwritten thank you notes and deep acts of devotion. In other words, we're taught love is narcissistic. We have to prove our love. Acts of love are received more than given. Jesus flips that around. It's about our giving, not our receiving, or their receiving. Gifts that require thank yous aren't gifts, they're exchanges. You gave the gift to get a thank you. If this touches a nerve, as it does for me, then we can turn that discomfort toward learning. See how we care, how loving other people are. Even this, which is about my expression of love, turns to you. Because we've learned in American culture that love is defined by giving and receiving the right way. Jesus is redefining love for us which may be hard to learn, but it is beautiful and freeing because the love Jesus describes is not built on evaluating the love of our neighbors or collecting love like presents. It's in offering love generously and without strings attached. To God, who is merciful and kind to all, let us pray for all those in need. For the Church of Jesus Christ throughout the world, especially the Episcopal Church in Jerusalem and the Middle East, the Diocese of Brasilia and Haiti, Creation Care Agencies and their efforts, St. John's Crawfordsville, and our 7th Street Church neighbors. Lord, have mercy. For those alienated from the church and for our witness to Christ in every community, Lord, have mercy. For those in charge of peoples and nations and for their exercise of mercy and justice, Lord, have mercy. For all who suffer from oppressive rulers and regimes and for the victims of abuse and violence, Lord, have mercy. For all who are sick and troubled, and for the dying and the dead, Lord, have mercy. For those who have asked for our prayers, Chris DeBon, Pamela Reed, John Hegedus, Sally Newlin, Robin Rolt, Johnny Western, John Newlin, Justin Mendoza, Mytel Wilson, Corinne Dewey, Christine Chillington, and Alex Vincent. Lord, have mercy. 
for ourselves, our families, and all those we love. Those celebrating birthdays, especially Austin Fagg, and those celebrating confirmation anniversaries, especially Dennis Deacon. Lord, have mercy. Remembering the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, let us offer ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ. To you, O Lord. God, the lover of every man and woman, hear the prayers we offer you this day and grant that we may bless those who curse and do good to those who do evil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, the Son of God, be manifest in you, that your lives may be a light to the world, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.